So this video is on the homework from Friday, which is the chapter seven D day number one, but this is part B. Part A um, was logs. Um, part B is gonna be dealing with law of sines, law of cosines and area of a triangle. Um, I'm gonna come and just add a page on here and write some formulas for us um, just so we can uh, understand which ones we're gonna be dealing with. Okay, and let me write those out. So um, just some of the formulas you're gonna to need to know for this. Um, there are a few problems you might notice that are actually right triangles. And so if we're dealing with right triangles, what we considered right triangle trig, um, you need to remember your SOHCAHTOA. SOHCAHTOA. And so remember sine of let's say an angle theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Um, cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And again, you can see these in the so, opposite over hypotenuse, ka, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then the toa. So that's gonna be tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, so you wanna pay attention, is it a right triangle? Now, how it, don't just assume something's a right triangle because it looks like it. Um, does it have the right uh, triangle, the, the little um, the box in the corner showing it's a right angle, okay? Um, so this is the formulas for right triangle trig, okay? Um, we also have our law of signs, okay? So law of signs, and that's going to be basically sine of, let's say we have triangle ABC. So sine of A over little a is gonna equal sine of B over little b, or equal sine of C over little c. Okay, so this is our law of sines. Okay, um, I also am going to write the area formula here and also the um, law of cosines. So our area formula, so um, area equal, and I'm gonna write three situations depending on the two sides you know and the angle in between. So you always need to know two sides with the angle in between. And that angle letter you know, you know the sides that are not those letters. So <clears throat> let's say we have one half and let's say we have side A and B, then we're gonna be using sine C because C is gonna be the angle in between. Just a quick drawing, A, B, C, um, little b, little a, little c. So if I know a and b, c is the angle in between. So it's always gonna be the angle, and then the sides that um, form that are gonna be not that same letter. Okay, um, and I'm just going to move that picture. Um, maybe I'll move it over here. Okay. Um, so equals, uh, another one is if I, if I know angle, let's say B, then I'm going to have a, uh, C sine of angle B because I would know the sides that are forming that angle and the angle in between or last one, a C, uh, times, and if it's angle A I know, then I better know the sides B and C, so that would be B, C, sine of A. Okay, so this is um, area of a triangle. Um, and then we're gonna have law of sines. I'm gonna, I mean, law of cosines again, same picture. Um, <clears throat> And for a law of cosines, it's kind of the same idea too. If I know an angle, then I kind of am dealing with the other two sides for most of the situation. I guess I'll keep it here. Okay, so let's say um, we have, <clears throat> so this is law of cosines. Okay. And so I'm going to write it for a squared equal, b squared equal, 
c squared equal if I'm trying to find the sides. Okay, so let me just move this up a little. Okay, um, so if I'm doing this and it's a squared, then I'm going to have b squared plus c squared, okay, the other two sides, minus 2 times, again, those two sides, b and c, times cosine of a, which matches this, b squared, a squared plus c squared minus 2ac times cosine, and again, if this is a b, then this is angle b. Um, c squared equals, um, here, I'm just going to put the a first, doesn't, doesn't matter, let's keep it in alphabetical order, a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times cosine of, again, that letter, angle c. Now, if I am going to be doing um, the angle, then I'm just going to rewrite these and cosine a equal and I'll do the same for cosine B and C. Okay, so cosine A is going to equal my B squared plus C squared, okay, minus the A squared, which had been on the other side, over the 2BC, which would <clears throat> have been um, the thing in front of it, okay? So again, this A, these are the other two letters for the sides, minus the A squared, and then these again are that 2BC, which match these. Okay, cosine B equal um, A squared plus C squared minus B squared over 2AC. And the last one, um, cosine of C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2 a, B, two, A, B. Again, these ones match each time. So that is our law of cosines. Okay, so those are all the formulas that we're going to possibly be using. Okay, so um, let's get started. Okay, so this one is a right triangle. Okay, and I'm here at this, um, so I'm going to be doing like Sokotoa, okay, Sokotoa. I always write that when I'm dealing with right triangle trade, write that out so I see it. And across from this is our opposite, um, this is your adjacent, and this one is your hypotenuse. Uh, the hypotenuse is always across from your right angle. Okay, so it's also next to, which was what adjacent means, but if it's across from your right angle, it's always hypotenuse. So looking at this, I am going to do, uh, I have opposite and adjacent that I'm dealing with, so I'm going to be doing TOA. So I'm going to be doing tangent of 26 is equal to opposite, which is X, over adjacent, which is 12. I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. So I get 12 tangent uh, 26 degrees equals X. Uh, make sure your calculator's in degrees, okay? Make sure it's in degrees. And then we're going to put this in. So 12 tangent 26, and I get 5.85. So 5.85 is about what my x equals, okay? Um, next one. This one is not a right triangle, even if it might look like a right triangle when you're looking at it going, hey, that kind of looks like maybe that would be a right, right triangle, maybe not. If it doesn't have a right angle, don't assume anything. Okay, so this is not a right triangle. And so now um, we are gonna be asked to solve for little a, little a, okay? Um, and looking at this, um, I know a pair, so let me just, um, I know this pair, I know this pair. So if I know a pair, then maybe I can use law of sines. Now, unfortunately, the A here, I don't know, but I know two angles in a triangle, so I can easily find that one, okay? So I'm just gonna be doing 180 minus 110 minus 50, okay? So I'm gonna do, 
180 minus 110 minus 50, and I end up getting 20 degrees. So this is 20 degrees. Not that they asked me to find it, but I needed it. So now I have this pair I know, and I can use this pair in my law of sine. Okay. So I'm going to do um, sine of 110 over 12 equals um, sine of 20 degrees over A, cross multiply and solve. So I'm gonna get A sine 110 equals 12 sine 20 degrees. I'm gonna divide both sides by sine of 110. So A is going to equal 12 sine of 20 over sine of 110 degrees. And we're gonna be putting this into our calculator to get our A, okay? Let's make sure that's focused. Okay, so I'm gonna do alpha, the green button, Y equal to get fraction, and then I'm gonna type in 12 sine 20 over sine 110. Okay, and I get 4.37 if I'm rounding, okay, 4.37. So A is gonna equal 4.37, that's my answer. So next one. Okay, so let me draw this out and see what we have. So I've got triangle A, B, C. I know B is 34, I'm just gonna kind of zoom in so I can write my 34 with maybe a smaller pen. 34, okay. And I also know that C is 82 and A is 5.6. So let me write my little A, which is 5.6. And my C is 82. So I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, degrees, degrees. And they want me to solve for this triangle. So what that means is I need to find everything that's not, um, given to me. So I'm going to need to find, um, let me just rewrite this. I'm going to need to find angle A, which is pretty easy to do, angle, uh, side B and side C. Now, when you're looking at this, um, I notice that I have this um, side. I don't have this angle, so I don't have any pairs. Okay, and don't have any pairs, don't have any pairs, but I can easily find this. So if I have two angles and I can find the third, let's use law of sines because we can easily just find that angle. So again, I'm gonna go 180, I'm doing a little smaller print, 180 minus 34 minus 82 to help me find angle A, okay? So, 180 minus 34 minus 82 is 64. So I found A. A is 64 degrees. Okay, so I've got one answer. Okay, I'm going to put that in here. This is 64. Now that I know that, I can use law of signs because I've got this and this. I've got this pair. So I can use law of signs to find the missing pieces. So um, I am going to do um, sine of 64 over 5.6, because that's the pair I know, is equal to sine of 34 over B, cross multiply and solve. So I am going to have um, B times sine of 64 is equal to 5.6 sine of 34. I'm going to divide both sides by sine of 64. So B is gonna equal 5.6 sine of 34 degrees, okay? Just so you guys understand that, I always use degrees with the sine 
not a side. Um, and then I'm dividing by the sine of 64. So sine of 64 degrees. And then I'm gonna put that into my calculator to get my answer. Okay, so I am going to do alpha y equal um, 5.6 sine of 34 over sine of 64 and I get 3.48, okay, 3.48. So I know little b is equal to 3.48, okay. Now I'm gonna find C, I'm gonna go through basically the same process as what I just did, okay? Um, so I'm going to do sine of 64 degrees over 5.6 because that's the pair I knew originally, just keep using that. And this time I want to find my little C, so I'm gonna use the sine of 82 over C, cross multiply. So C sine of 64 degrees equals um, 5.6 times sine of 82 degrees. I'm going to divide both sides by sine of 64. So 5.6 sine of 82 degrees over sine of 64 degrees. And I'm going to put that into my calculator. Um, I'm just going to move this down. Oops, I guess I didn't grab it. So I can write my, my angle C, I mean my side C here. Okay, so uh, I'll be finding C. Okay, so I'm going to put this into my calculator again. And again, I have basically all of this in here. So I'm going to come up here, get this. And 5.6 sine of 82, so I'm going to come up here and change this to an 82, over sine of 64, which I've got. And I get 6.17, 6.17. Okay, so 6.17. And those are my answers. Okay, I found all of the missing pieces. Um, so next one, again, draw a picture to see what we have. It's, that's always helpful. Okay, so I'll draw my triangle. Okay, so little a is 48. Little b is 75. This angle is 32 degrees. Okay, and I need to solve. So I need to find everything that um, I'm gonna mark in blue here, okay? So I need to find this, whoops, this angle b. I need to find this angle c. And I need to find this little c. Those are the three things I'm going to find. Now you'll notice that I have a pair, okay, that I know. So I'm going to be using law of signs, okay, um, for this. Now, this is really something called the ambiguous case, angle, side, side, which I like to say instead, side, side, angle. Um, but don't worry about that. That's something we're going to be learning on uh, Monday. Right now, we're just practicing doing the process, okay? Um, so, I am going to do um, sine of 32 over 48 is equal to, um, let's say I find B, so sine of B over 70. Five, okay, I can't do it with C. I have to use because I don't know anything for C. Okay, the angle or the side cross multiply and solve So I'm going to get 48 sine B equals 75 sine 32 um, So sine B so I'm gonna to have to do inverse here 
is equal to, and I'm gonna give myself some space here first for this, um, 75 sine of 32 over um, 48, okay? So I got the 48 by itself. And then what I'm going to be doing, and I mentioned this before, um, I am going to take sine inverse if I need to find the B. So I'm basically taking sine inverse of this whole thing. And so when I take sine inverse, I end up getting B equal, and we'll see what answer we get. Okay, so I'm going to put this into my calculator. I'm going to move it this way so you can see that and then I'll use this for my calculator okay so second and sine for sine inverse and then I'm gonna put the fraction in alpha green button y equal um, 75 sine 32 over 48 and I get 55.89 degrees 55.89 degrees so 55.89 degrees. That's one of my answers, okay? Now, now that I know this angle, I know two angles. I can easily find C, okay? So now to find C, what I'm gonna do is I am basically gonna take 180 minus 32 minus this one I just found, which is 55.89. And that's going to give me my big angle C. I should, that's big angle C. Okay. So 180 minus 32 minus 55.89, I get 92.11. So 92.11 degrees. That is my, my angle C. Okay. So now I'm just going to put red here. This is this angle. And now I am going to try to find this, okay? So I am going to do law of sines. Okay, here, let me make this a little bigger. Okay, so I am going to do um, basically the same as over here. So I've got sine of 32 over 48 equals um sine of 92.11 over c the nice thing here is now that i know the angle i don't have to do sine inverse I, i'm just going to find c so when i cross multiply i get c sine 32 equals 48 sine i'm going to move this um 92.11. I am going to divide both sides by sine of 32. So I'm going to get C equals 48 sine of 92.11 over sine of 32. And so this is little c. I'm making it look like it's a big C, but it is a little c. Little c. So I'm going to put that into my calculator. Okay, so um, I am going to do alpha y equal um, 48 sine of 92.11 over sine of 32, and I end up getting a 90.52, de uh, sorry, not degrees, 90.52, 90.52. And that's that answer. Okay, next one. So on the next one, they are asking us to find the area. And you'll notice that I've got side, whoops, Okay, so you'll notice that I have this side 
and this side with this angle. So I have side angle side. So I am going to be using this angle and these two sides. Okay, I never use a side opposite. It has to be the two that are forming it. So the area formula, okay, I'm going to write area, not A, so you don't think I'm finding angle A. Area is going to be equal to one half. Uh, my two sides that form that, so 150 times 231 times sine of the angle, which is 123 degrees. So I'm going to put this into my calculator and get my answer. Okay. So I'm going to put in 0 0.5. Uh, 0 0.5 times 150 times 231 um, times cos, sorry, wow, delete that, um, sine of 123, I end up with um, 14,529 point, let's say 97. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. So that is going to equal 14,529.97 um, millimeters, I'm sorry, meters squared, meters squared. And that would be our answer. Okay, so on um, letter number six, um, they want us to find the biggest angle. So what you need to remember from, this is actually from integrated two, is that the biggest angle is always across from the bigger side, okay? So since this is the biggest side, this is the angle I'm trying to find, okay? I'm trying to find this angle. Um, so since I don't have any pair, Okay, no pairs. These, these I don't know uh, both of these. I don't know both of these. I don't know both of these. I'm using law of sines. Okay, and I'm going to be using, uh, sorry, law of cosines. I apologize. Um, I use law of sines when they, I do have a pair that match. So I'm basically going to be doing the cosine of B formula. Okay, and that is going to be not the B. It's going to be the A squared plus C squared minus, now I use the little b squared over two times the little a and little c. That's your formula. Now, I am actually going to do cosine inverse of this because um, when I have um, the angle that I want to find, I'm going to do inverse. So I'm going to really put this into my calculator. b equals cosine inverse of, and now let's fill in what we know. a squared is 11 squared. Um, C squared is 9 squared. That means this has to be my B squared over 2 times my A times my C. And I'll put that straight into my calculator. Okay, so I'm just going to move this so I can do this right here. Okay, so I'm going to do second cosine for cosine inverse alpha y equal um, 11 squared, I'm just going to type in 121 plus 81 minus 144 over 2 times 11 times 9, and I get 72.97 degrees. So my b equals 72.97 degrees. Again, I... Um, I am using this formula. When I want the angle at the end, I'm going to have to take cosine inverse to undo cosine B. So I just did, co and when I did that, I got B here. And on this side, I'm going to take cosine of this side. So I really cosine inverse both sides. And I just put it in my calculator. Okay, next one. Okay, so on the next one, they want us to find um, little b. Okay, so this would be little b. So I need to kind of pay attention to what I have here. It looks like I have side, angle, side. Um, I 
don't have any pairs, so I'm definitely not going to use law of sines. I am going to, and again, if you have side angle sides, you basically are going to be using law of cosines. So I want little b. So the formula is going to be b squared equal, remember, not the b, so it's going to be the other two, a squared plus c squared minus two times, again, the a and the c times cosine of the angle that matches. That's what I'm going to put in my calculator, okay? So um, I'm going to have um, b squared equal, I'm just going to do it down here, um, 150 squared, sorry, I was just trying to space myself, plus 231 squared minus 2 times my a, which is, um, well, here, I, I, I'm not using the A and the B in that order. It, it, I'm using these two. I, I did this one first and then this one. Um, those are the two I'm using. So I actually did my C first and then my A, but that does not matter. I just, I'm not gonna be using the B. Um, so, so now 150 squared plus 231 squared minus two times 150 times 231 times cosine of my B, which is 123 degrees. Now, before I put this all in my calculator, remember we need to take the square root of this side. So I'm gonna take the square root of this. And so I'm gonna get B equal. And I'm gonna put this whole thing into my calculator. I'm just gonna push this up a little. Okay. So um, my square root and then 150 squared plus 231 squared squared minus two times 150 times, oops, forgot my zero, 150 times 231 times cosine of 123, and I get 337.05, so 337.05. Okay, next one. So on eight, um, and let me just make sure, because I know I, I had moved my, my screen. So that was 337.04. Um, on this one, I'm looking for theta, okay? Even though they're not using ABC, it's the same idea, okay? So on this one, they, we want this angle here. This is the angle we want, okay? Um, we know the side in between, across, we know this pair. So I'm gonna take this pair and this pair. I'm gonna use law of sines, okay? So I'm gonna do sine of 18 degrees over 30 equals uh, sine of theta over 27. Um, and I'm gonna cross multiply and solve here. So I'm gonna have 30 sine theta equals 27 sine 18 degrees. I'm gonna divide both sides by 30. So I'm gonna have sine theta equals, and I'm gonna give myself some space over here, um, 27 sine 18 degrees over 30. Now remember, I want theta. So when I want to find the angle, I am going to have to take the sine inverse of this, and I'm going to take the sine inverse of this. And when I do, this side gives me theta, and this will give me my answer. So um, I'm going to do second sine for sine inverse, alpha y equal to get my fraction and 27 sine 18 um, over 30. And I just hit enter. And so I get 16.15. Uh, so 16.15 degrees, that is your answer. Okay, number nine. So number nine, okay, um, this is a word problem. We're going to draw out the situation. And so um, let's see, 
Um, we are dealing with planets and you can, so from the planet Zentar, Dweebel can see the stars uh, Quasim and Plibit. Uh, the angle between these two stars is 22 degrees. Okay, so let me just draw this. Okay, so this is 22 degrees. And we know that, um, that these are 93 million uh, miles apart. Okay, and here I'm going to actually do that this side. Let me just pause. Okay, so I wrote it here so we don't take up extra space. Okay, so, and I'm going to put some letters here. I'm going to put X for, uh, this is when he's standing at, at Zantar. Uh, the angle between the two stars, and one of them, let's, is, let's put Q for Quasom and P for Plibit. And um, he knows that when he's standing on Plibit, so when he's standing over here, um, the angle from Quasom to Zentar is 39 degrees. Okay, so this is what we know. And we want to know how far is it from Zentar to Quasom. So we are trying to find this, which would be little p. I was going to do it in a different color. That looks like a big P. Little P. Okay, so that's what we're trying to find. So looking at this, I have pairs. Okay, I have pairs. I know this pair, this and this are across from each other. And when I say I know pairs, I don't know this whole pair, but I know that this and this are across. So I can use law of signs. Okay. So I am going to do sine of uh, 22 degrees over 93 million equals sine of 39 degrees over um, P, cross multiply and solve. So um, P sine 22 degrees equals 93, 93 million. Um, sine of 39 degrees. Um, so I'm going to get P is equal to 93 million. Sine of 39 degrees divided by sine of 22 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to put that into my calculator. Okay, so I'm going to have, um, I'm going to do fractions, so alpha y equal 9, 3, and then I have six zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sine of 39 over sine of 22, and I end up getting, um, let's see, looks like 156,235,000. 361. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. So um, P equals, little p, equals 156,235,361 miles away. And that's your answer. Okay. Number 10. Um, okay, so last one here. Let me pause while it comes back. So. Okay, and on this problem, let's kind of see what's going on here. Um, Marco wants to cut a sheet of plywood to fit over the triangular sandbox. Okay, so we've got a triangular sandbox. I'm not drawing any of this to scale. Okay, I'm just drawing a triangle. Um, one angle is 38 degrees, and it is between sides with a length of 14 and 18. What is the length of the third side? Okay, so we want to find this side over here. Okay, and again, looking at this, I don't have pairs. Okay, 
um, at all, no pairs. I don't know one of the pairs and I can't find like an angle to help me out because I only know one angle. So I'm gonna use law of cosines. And if you see side angle side, then you're thinking law of cosines, unless you're finding area, then you're gonna use the area formula. Okay, so I'm gonna be using C squared equal A squared plus B squared minus two AB cosine of angle C. So I'm not really concerned with which one's A and B. Basically the 14 and the 18 are gonna be these two things, okay? So I'm gonna go C squared is equal to 14 squared plus 18 squared minus two times 14 times 18 cosine of 38 degrees, okay? And before I stick that in my calculator, remember, we want C, so I need to take the square root of this. So we'll do that before, that way you don't have to do multiple steps, okay? So square root of 14 squared plus 18 squared minus, whoops, minus square. Okay, um, here, let me just get out of this, okay, squared, um, minus um, two times 14 times 18 times cosine of 38, and I end up with 11.08 for my side, okay, and this is going to be feet because these were all feet. And again, hopefully you're using these as a reference, you're trying them first and then coming to this when you need help on particular problems, okay? Good luck.